Here we can select the column and then change the length, for example. Click Finish. Let's make our sketch visible now. Right click on Sketch 2, select Visibility. And let's activate the Punch tool again. I'll select the D sub connector this time. Click Open. Now let's control and unselect one of these points. Here we basically got the same options, change size, angle, and so on. Let's finish. I'm going to bring in one more punch example. This time I'll select the round emboss, click open. Of course the angular value is not applicable here. Let's go to the size tab. We've got a drop down menu with some predefined parameters. Under this drop down menu, let's select 0.75 inches and click Finish. And here is our third punch feature. This concludes our first video about working with the punch tool. We'll see you back in a minute.